they sat down and then they started saying, we've been watching you closely. And I said to him, what's the reason? Why am I being watched so closely? I must be special if you've been watching me closely. He was a guy who had it all. How did you go from this conservative, sports-loving teenager to somebody who's splashed with the arterial blood of the men he's beheading? This is going from nothing to everything. Mohamed Mwazi was always wondering about his identity. He was slightly strange. I wouldn't say he was a misfit, but I think he wasn't necessarily sure exactly where he fitted in. There was a question about what drives a terrorist to become a terrorist. Mwazi learns that the security services had visited his fiancé's family. They have introduced the idea that he may be linked to terrorism. The family called the wedding off. How can I get treated like this, you know? I'm a British citizen, and my government is threatening me and throwing allegations at me. If there was one thing contributing to the rise of his fame was that the international news media called him Jihadi John. With each video, there was a sense of, this is getting out of control. How is it that we are losing the power dynamic here? We were prisoners of Islamic State. I think they had come to realize Jim was worth more as propaganda. I'm back, Obama, because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State. We don't negotiate with terrorists because it just begets more terrorism. He knows that we're coming after him. He went to great lengths to prevent being captured. This hunt for Jihadi John was personal.